Hey guys, Joe Ferrari here with LMC. I'm going to talk about creating a surface. So, this button here allows you to create a simple surface, nothing complex. You don't want to get too complex with designing stuff in the field on your dozer panel. But say you have to cut in a road, you don't have a model, uh, but your, your super wants you to just cut in a road, say he points from over here to over there, and he wants water to drain to the right on a 2% slope. Well, this is one way to do that. So you hit create surface, create new surface, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my blade on the ground. I'm gonna say read total station. Say okay. So the blade touch point can either be the left side of your blade, mast is the center, and right side. So I'm, I'm gonna use the mast as center. So I'll say read, okay? That's the first point of our road. I'm gonna track to the second point of the road. And I understand that I want this to fall. So this is the second point of our road that we want to cut in. And I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go ahead and put the blade on the ground and hit read. So it's showing that I went 77 feet and my forward slope is roughly 0.4%, so it's going up. Notice our starting height was 97.69 and it ended at 98. You can change this forward slope to whatever you want. Notice 0%, it changed our ending height to the same thing. If I wanted it to fall 2%, you'll notice our ending height is a little bit less. So our forward slope is basically where we started to where we finished. So I'll hit next. This is the number of cross slopes on each side of the center line that we just defined from our starting end point. One would be, say, just uh, one slope on one side, two, so on the left side, for example, you'd have one cross slope of say 2%, 10 foot, and then you might have another slope at another distance. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's keep it simple and just say one cross slope, okay? So I'll say next, and it says first left side slope. If I move my blade, Say I angle my blade a little bit more, I can hit match. Well, that's matching the percent of the slope of the blade. So I'm gonna do the opposite. Go to the other side. So I'm tilting my blade the other way. And watch, if I hit match, it changes to a negative. Quickly, you understand what's going on. So I want a 2% fall to my left. You can see what's starting to happen. You want to exaggerate that to get an idea of which way it's falling or rising you can negative two percent first left side distance so that's a distance going to your left maybe 10 foot okay so next you could also match if you wanted um, Let's just say negative two and see what happens. So again, you can see what's starting to happen here. You don't need 50 feet, just a 10 foot. If you were unsure what's happening, you can exaggerate it and see which way it's going. So you can see it's going down rightward. Negative two. Next. Use the same cross slope definition as starting point on any point? Yes. So that's what we just created. Center line of road. I actually went down one or down 
2% on the left and down, 2% on the right. You can name this whatever you want, that way you have something to come back to. Say okay. Right now we're sitting on our road. I'm gonna change that to 3D view. So I'm gonna start backing up. Handy dandy little backup camera down here. Helps.